In this video, I will show you how to fix the error codes 0x809-6002A on Windows 10 or 11. So let's jump straight into it. So here we are on my desktop. Now there's a couple of things you can do to fix this error. And the first thing we're gonna try is using command prompt. So to do that from your desktop, you wanna come down to the bottom left hand corner and into your search box, you wanna go ahead and type command prompt. Underneath best match, you should now see command prompt shown. So what you're gonna to want to do is right click and run this as an administrator. So once you've got command prompt open, so there's a couple of commands we're going to put into here. So make sure to type this exactly as I do. Now, the first command you want to type is the following, which is D-I-S-M. Then you want to put a space and then a forward slash. Then you want to go ahead and put online, then space and then forward slash. Then you need to put cleanup, dash and then image. Then put a space and a forward slash. And then after this one, you want to go ahead and type scan health. So that's D-I-S-M space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash scan health. So once you've done that, just go ahead and press enter. So once you've entered that in, as you can see, it's going to do a quick health scan of your PC. So this just takes a minute or two to complete. So you just want to wait for that to finish. And then we're going to type in the second command. So once that's finished, you're going to want to put the next command, which is the following. So similar to the first one, D-I-S-M space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash and this time you want to put check health and then again press enter then there's one more command you need to put which is again similar to the previous two which is d-i-s-m space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash and this time you want to put restore health and then press enter so again, for this third one, it's gonna do a quick scan and restore. So again, just bear with it. It does take a minute or two to run through, but you wanna make sure this completes fully in order to fix that error problem. So once these scans are finished, you can now go ahead and exit out of the command prompt. So just go ahead, type exit, and then press enter. So now that's all completed, what you're gonna to want to do is go ahead and restart your PC, and that should fix this problem. Now, if you've restarted your PC and you're still getting the error message, the final thing I would recommend trying is checking that your system is up to date. To do that from your desktop, what you're gonna to want to do is again, come down to the search box in the bottom left-hand corner, and this time you wanna go ahead and type update, and underneath best match, you should see an option to check for updates. So what you wanna do is click onto this, and this is gonna take you across to the update screen. And if there's any updates available, you're gonna to want to go ahead, install those updates, and then restart your PC. As soon as that's done, that should fix any problems problems or bugs causing that error to occur and that is pretty much all there is to it. So with that being said I hope this tutorial did help you out today and if this did help you out I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.